A massive data breach has left millions of Americans vulnerable to identity theft after a company that stores personal information was hacked. Tonight, a warning from the Better Business Bureau and some tips to help keep your data safe. Here's First News reporter John Rudder. It's what experts are saying could be one of the largest data breaches in history. A group of hackers claiming to have stolen more than 3 billion records of personal information, including social security numbers, mailing addresses, phone numbers, and birth dates. In a lot of instances, we have seen maybe it's your credit card information, whereas that's a little easier to kind of tackle. You can contact your credit card company and get a new account. In this instance, um, it's social security numbers, which has a tendency to have a Scope. The information was stolen from National Public Data, a company that collects and sells access to personal information, which is then used by other organizations to obtain background checks and criminal records. Because it's your social security number and uh, everyone asks for your social security number, it's kind of limitless. Tonight, the Better Business Bureau is issuing a warning advising consumers to put a freeze on your credit report as an extra safety measure to ensure your information stays safe. What that process involves is creating a PIN number that only you know. So what happens is, say the scam artist has your social security number, they are going to open up a, a new credit card in your name. Well, when they go through the application process, they're going to have to input that PIN number that only you, the consumer, know. Experts also suggest taking advantage of free tools like annualcreditreport.com to get a clear picture of your credit report from all three credit bureaus and tightening up your online security by changing passwords and using multi-factor authentication. Don't forget to do this for your kids too. They have uh, credit, they have social security numbers, lots of kids I know have their own bank accounts and they typically have great credit scores. So they are great victims of identity theft. The cybersecurity firm Pentester has also created a tool to check to see if your information was included in the breach. We understand that this is a very scary situation, but stay calm. Make logs. If, if your information has been breached, keep track of who you contacted and when you contacted them. Reporting in Youngstown, John Rudder, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.